It's me again at opening your advent. Yes. <laughs> what eyelashes? Ooh. Oh my goodness. They're gigantic. Good morning and welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas and December. I am in Dan's car because my car is out of action until a week today when they come and replace the windscreen. If you've missed what happened, um, watch the day eight vlog. That will explain everything. I have a very red nose now as well because I've had such a um, sort of snotty head cold and I've been blowing my nose so much that I now have a red nose. So I'm now covered in Vaseline and just feel disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and I am parked outside my hairdresser's house. I am here to have a quick trim, hopefully get this all a little bit neater. So at least uh, one part of me is looking a little bit <laughs> less dishevelled. And then the rest of the day is going to be about getting organised for Christmas. I'm nowhere near ready yet. So I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that I know exactly what presents I still need to get and make a plan for food and make sure like, I've got things like wrapping paper and stuff. And if I can, I might even start wrapping some gifts for under the tree. And I want to feel by the end of today that I've got Christmas in the bag and have better hair. <laughs> Right, I'm back from having my hair done. She shaped it a little bit here, so it, it did lose a little bit of length, but it means it's going to sit a bit better as it grows, I hope. And then she just took off what needed to be taken off. So now it feels too light, it doesn't feel heavy enough. It takes me ages to get used to a hair do. Anyway, I'm going to make some um, eggs over easy for my dinner. No, that's not the word. Lunch. As I got, I, I, I went uh, to get my hair cut and then I went straight to the shop to pick up the bits that we need. Hang on, I'll do this and I'll talk to you. Right, they're cooking away now. Uh, yeah, so as soon as I, I went to the supermarket and as soon as I pulled up in the driveway, the engineer was here to look at our fridge because our fridge has started making a constant buzzing noise. So I rushed in with the shopping and him and the fridge that has been making a constant buzzing noise for the better part of six weeks was completely silent. It's now not silent, now he's gone. So we've got a bit of a plan of action. I'm gonna film the noise it makes and keep note of like when it does it and for how long. And then it'll just come back out again. It's still in its warranty, so it should be all right. But it's, these little domestic things are just so annoying. Why can't you just buy a fridge, put it in, and then that's it, done. You know, why does it why does it then have to have an issue or make an annoying noise or something like that? I hate that kind of thing. <clears throat> it's like now we've finished finally doing the kitchen. That was the last room in the house that we had to do. And we're sort of looking at the living room going, yeah, we need to decorate the living room. It's horrible. <laughs> it really needs a repaint and a bit of a refresh. It just never ends, does it? So I'm going to have some lunch. <sighs> I just put this to... I took something out of the dishwasher that still had food on it and I put it in the sink to be washed. And then Dan came down and washed it and it's still covered in food. I think I'm feeling a little bit annoyed with everything today. I think it's all catching up with me. So I'm gonna have my eggs, two eggs over easy on a slice of toast. I'm gonna make a list of what I need to do and what I need to still get for Christmas and then I'm gonna go up and start doing some wrapping. I'll probably watch some Vlogmases or something whilst I do that. It's all very secret squirrel, so I won't be filming it. So I'll catch up with you a bit later. And just like that, in the blink of an eye, it is half past six and I haven't filmed a thing all day. I got engrossed in all of my Christmas sorting and planning. I did a bit of wrapping. I had to borrow Dan's car to do a mad dash to Blue Water 
at about four o'clock, uh, which was fine. Blue water was absolutely fine at that time of day. However, the traffic around Blue Water was not. So that was not fun. I then came running home and gobbled my dinner. Lilia's not feeling very well. So she's upstairs having a shower and trying to warm herself up. It's her only day off in ages. So I think her body's just gone, Ugh, I'm having a rest. So she's feeling a bit blare. So she has spent uh, the afternoon, she's, she slept all morning. She spent the afternoon reading. And yeah, so hopefully she'll be okay. And Dan has just taken Phoebe off to her Monday night football training. And I've just realised I did all of my vlogs this morning and the thumbnail and everything. And I actually didn't press publish. It's a really rubbish thumbnail. As well. Oh, hang on, you can't see it. <laughs> there it is. I'm just going to go and change it from private to public. You will have already seen this. There you go. It is now up. That's day 10. And I thought yesterday was a bit rubbish because it was a bit chatty. And with not much sort of vloggy stuff. And I think today's going to be the same, I'm afraid. Because I just haven't picked the camera up. I do apologise. Anyway, there are some things I thought we could have a little chat about. I got some happy mail. And it looks like it's from my friend Elaine. Oh, that's a nice card, isn't it? Oh, it is from Elaine. Oh, I bet she made that then. Yeah. What has she sent me? <laughs> so she sent us one of these each. And she says she picked them up for us because she thought the chocolate looked like a little drop of wonderful. Like one of my little crochet little drops of wonderful. Which is a pattern that I did. And it's also one of the little, you know, the, on the pins and stuff that I sell. With, although my shop is closed for Christmas now. Oh, that's so oh, that's so cute. Thank you, Elaine. And then there's also this beautiful, ooh, beautifully wrapped parcel with a robin tag on the front. Mm. I'm just thinking, I wonder if I was supposed to put it under the tree rather than opening it straight away. Sorry, Elaine. I've obviously got no patience whatsoever. Oh no, this is a good thing to open now. Oh, that's lovely. Nature Tales for Winter Nights. Look at that cover. It says, a treasure trove of nature tales from storytellers across the globe, bringing a little magic and wonder to every winter night. It's edited by Nancy Campbell. Oh, it's a collection of stories. So you've got stories from Anne Frank from Charlotte Bronte, Walt Whitman, Virginia Woolf, Tove, Tove Janssen, who I love. She wrote The Moomins and The Summer Book as well. I really enjoyed that. Charles Darwin, Robert Louis Stevenson, Vincent van Gogh, Henry David Thoreau, Kenneth Graham, Elizabeth Jane Burnett, and loads and loads of others. Oh, how lovely. Well, I shall enjoy dipping into that. Thank you, Elaine, for that. You, that was really, really kind of you. I still need to send thank you messages to everybody. So I'm going to pop this in my little pile of things for tomorrow for my thank you notes. And I also need to open my Advents. I haven't done that today either. So I thought we could do that together. So we'll go for a homespun house Advent. Uh, so we're on day 11 already. Almost halfway through. I guess we are halfway through. No, tomorrow will be halfway through, won't it? No. Yes, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow will be halfway through. My mind was just started whirring with the adding up in my head there. Uh, oh, we're getting deeper into the purples. I'm so enjoying this fade. So this one is called Warm Mold Wine. How funny, because there was a mold wine one in the Green Lampkin one a couple of days ago. That's so funny. Let me make the thing a bit lighter. That's better. There you go. You can see the beautiful colours in there now. Ooh. 
so pretty. I'm going to write the number 11 on the back of that to add to my other ones here to put in my project bag. Okay, number 11 from Green Lumpkin Yarns. I have been loving this one as well. I've loved learning all the little bits about Christmas around the world. Oh, I've got a little stitch marker. Oh, super sparkly. I like a super sparkly stitch marker. Perfect for Strictly socks. And it is, oh, I'm going to have to pronounce things again. Bush. I don't think that's right. Bush would be mouth, wouldn't it? How do we say this? Bush de Noël. Sorry, everyone in France. The Yule log is a Christmas tradition in many cultures, but in France, the Yule log is eaten. Of course, it's not made of wood, but a chocolatey, delicious cake resembling a Swiss roll with bark textured icing. Some bakers are very creative and even add edible moss and mushrooms. It is said that some versions of this cake date back to the 1600s, but it was popularised in the 1900s by Paris bakeries. Something my mum's always done, actually, is to do a Yule log. A Swiss roll decorated with chocolate bark and a holly sprig on the top. I don't know why I held it up after I read it out. Well, I suppose you need to see how it's spelled so you can correct me because I, I don't think I've got that pronunciation right. Oh, let me just wind this, it's come undone. So this is Bush de Noël, your log. It's like a snow dusted your log. So delicate. Oh, lovely, I'm so pleased with my advent yarns this year. I'm, a, I'm always pleased with my advent yarns. I just love having them. Right, number 11 for my German tea calendar. That was a lovely gift. So we have got Krauterchen Frost. Krauter, Anise and Zimt. So a pretty, so Zimt I have learned is cinnamon. I'm gonna say Anise. That's got this star Anise, I can smell it. Like that strong star anise licorice flavour. And Krauter, I think, is herb. Um, so let's have a look. I think it's Herb Frost is the name of it. And yeah, anise and cinnamon. Yeah, herb, herbs, anise and cinnamon. Smells lovely. I shall enjoy it. it smells almost savoury. Right, I am now going to catch up on a couple of things. I haven't written in my diary since Thursday because Friday, so I, this is my one line a day five year diary. I'm into the fourth year of it, nearly at the end of the fourth year of it. And I'm writing it every night when I get into bed. But obviously Friday night, I just was still quite shaken after what had happened. Everyone is fine. Everyone, all's well that ends well in both cases, but it did put me off writing in my diary a bit. And then last night I was just so tired when I got into bed, I couldn't see. So I just thought I'll leave it. So I'm going to write in my diary now and catch up. I'm going to write in my little book journal to catch up with that as well. I've just finished listening to Miss Marley um, on my free trial of Everand. It's by Vanessa Lefay and Rebecca Maskell, narrated by Josie Dunn. It was sold as a prequel to A Christmas Carol, which it was. It was about uh, Jacob Marley and his sister. And it was also sold as a seasonal tale of kindness and goodwill. It, yeah, I wouldn't, I, I think it was really depressing. <laughs> I didn't come away thinking, oh, how lovely. I feel all Christmassy now. I No, it was not, I wouldn't say it was a seasonal tale of kindness and goodwill it was it was more like the making of Scrooge and Marley that's what it felt like and it was really yeah it didn't leave me with a nice Christmas glow so I don't know what star rating I'm going to give it maybe three I haven't thought about it yet but I, yeah it wasn't wasn't for me so now I've just started listening to I wish it could be Christmas every day by Millie Johnson I literally just bunged it on on my way back from Sainsbury's earlier and thought if I don't like it by the time I get home I won't continue with it and I did like it by the time I got home no idea where it's going to go but it's set in Yorkshire and it's quite funny so far so I'll let you know how I get on with that <laughs> 
I am also going to read uh, a few chapters of my book, my Christmas Eve book, Murder on the Christmas Express, because I have fallen a little bit behind and need to get a few chapters under my belt so I can uh, catch up with my read along and we can all discuss it um, together. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've just finished, I'm up to chapter nine and I need to get to chapter 17. A lot of the chapters are really short, so I don't think it's going to take me long to get there at all. So oh, I'm really looking forward to that. I haven't done any reading this week at all. And then if I've got any time after doing all that, I've got all of my advent crochet projects here and my laptop. So I'm going to watch some Vlogmases and have a jolly old time crocheting. So books, diary, reading, YouTube, crocheting, bed. Oh, and I can't eat after 8.30 tonight either. I've got a fasting blood test in the morning because I just have to have a yearly blood test. Uh, just to check everything because of my J pouch and especially because I had some problems back in October. If you're new round here, welcome first of all and I uh, spoke quite a bit about it in Vlogtober because I was a little bit unwell in Vlogtober with issues to do with my J pouch. So there is a vlog that I made in Vlogtober that says what's a J pouch if you're interested because that's what I have. It's like an internal pouch that replaces my large intestine which I don't have. Where was I going with that? Oh yeah I've got to have a, a routine blood test but it means I, it's 8 30 tomorrow morning and I can't eat or drink anything interesting <laughs> for 12 hours before. Sorry this is going to be a really rubbish vlog today but it needed to be done in order to get me Christmas ready. So I'll see you tomorrow for a proper vlog. I have nothing more to say. <laughs> I haven't even lit the advent candle or opened the paper advent or anything. Oh.